Ricky Bobby, what, is, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a guitar in my hands. Um, Mark, when Mark asked me to do, uh, do this this week, um, I didn't want to. I was tore up. <laughs> um, and it's been a battle all week. I even woke up this morning. I was like, I wonder what they would say if I caught in sick. <laughs> but I can't really do that. Um, so 2 Corinthians uh, 9, 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. It says, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Guys, I'm a crier, so, so bear with me. Uh, I don't know, uh, some of you guys may not, may not know a whole lot about me. Um, God has completely changed my life. It's been you know, 15 years ago, but uh, <laughs> to everything, God be the glory. Um, long story short, spent many years in the coal mines. Uh, through that, injuries, uh, the doctors prescribed pain medication, and then went down the wrong road <laughs> with that. Suffered with it for many years, and uh, I had always felt I knew God from from a young age. Uh, grew up really kind of rough. Uh, longest we lived in one place might have been a year and a half. Uh, saw saw what addiction does to families. Uh, experienced it with uh, with my mother, and uh, but I always felt. God tugging on me. I always felt that. I would stray away. Uh, he'd pull me back. Stray away, he'd pull me back. <laughs> These songs we sing, uh, I cry so much while we're singing them because they mean so much to me. You know, no matter how far away I would get, God would always pull me back. And about 15 years ago, um, God really... I was I was in I was in addiction, uh, trying to hide it. I was still working every day, you know. Still thought I was hiding it from everybody, but uh, I mean, God just started convicting me. I would pull over on my way home from from work, uh, just cry on the side of the road. It's like God, I don't know what to do. I need you. Um, my wife drug me to a. I, uh, it's actually uh, Jason Aaron Crab. He had a concert, uh, Frontline Ministries, years ago, and she drug me there. Uh, I didn't want to go, but I did, and uh, I made the decision that night uh, to fully surrender. I had to admit it. Well, that's the first step. Obviously, is just admitting admitting I can't do this on my own. So I fully surrendered that night, and uh, I knew I knew what was coming. I knew I was going to have to go through it. <laughs> I laid in the bed for days, days just crying out to God, saying, "God, help me." The pain, the emotions, you know, just everything you're going through with that. And the only I, w I would lay in bed and. My wife can tell you I would just lay there and curl up. But I would listen to uh, Christian music while I was laying there. And I would worship as I was laying there. I'd throw up and I'd worship. Because I knew, I knew what God had told me. I had a dream one night. And uh, like I said, I was going through it. And... In that dream, I was bound up by chains. Like I could feel like the weight of everything on me. Like it was totally, it was real. It was really happening. Uh, there were these demons trying to, trying to drag me. And I can't, I couldn't scream. I couldn't cry out. Um, I, was, I was hollering for my wife. I was hollering Angie, help me. That's my wife's name. I was hollering for her to help me and nothing nothing was going on you know it was still it was getting tighter and tighter I was choking and finally 
I mustered out, Jesus, help me. And at that moment, guys, I've never experienced anything like it. The chains literally, like, just boom, they were gone. I felt a kiss on the back of my head. And then it's like just total warmth, total warmth. Like, in my mind, that was Jesus kissing me saying, it's done. You know, you delivered, it's done. God is just so good, guys. So many times, I tell, I tell people all the time, I could write a book from all the things that I've, I've seen growing up, uh, from all the bad things that I've done. And I was so ashamed. And even speaking in front of you guys this morning, I'm, I'm ashamed from what I did. But it's not about me. It's about what God, is, what God did to deliver me. So it's for God's glory. So many times we didn't know, you know, just so many times didn't know how I was going to make it. And God just always, he's so faithful. And that's one thing uh, you can ask my kids. Like they know that God is faithful. You know, it doesn't matter what we're going through. We know we're going to get through it because God is who he says he is. But thank you guys. I won't take up any more of your time.